And hello, Paddle Nerds, no, 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 Paddle Nerds. <clears throat> and hello, Paddle Nerds, no Dillas, no Dezels, to my humble dwelling with the craziest demo setup ever in the history of this World's Okay's guitar player. We got the Gurus Double Decker 1959 Palexi pedal here. And uh, yeah, the audio setup is ridiculous. As well as the video setup. For you, just for shits and giggles, I got six cameras going. For a pedal demo, that's just stupid. But okay, why not? And I'm drinking Arizona D'Angelico, D'Addario. Uh, Arizona is actually D'Angelico. Something is there related somehow. Uh, sweet tea because I had too much coffee today. Yes, there is such a thing. So, this pedal... Rocks! And, um, that's rock. What's rock? I don't know. Um, let's say it's a preamp, which means we would technically want to put it right into the power amp of an amp. We're doing that. But we're also putting it in front of an amp. But also, it has an emulated out, which you could switch to DI to use your own speaker simulation, which of course we could do, but we're not. It's, I mean, at some point, we gotta say enough. Um, so emulate it out, which of course we want to check out in case you want to plug this thing pedal board into it and then directly into the mixer. Um, and since it's a plexi kind of a thing, we want to see can you push it with another drive. That's why we have the Voyager from Warrus Audio right here. It has an FX loop, which you can switch parallel and serial. And in that loop, we have a viscous vibe from TC Electronic and a tape delay El Capistan from Strymon. Uh, it has two foot switch inputs, which I frankly don't know what they do. I assume they do something. We're not gonna look at it. Read up on it. I'm not your mommy. I, I don't know. Technically, this belongs in the review, but you know what? Fuck it. It's too much stuff anyway. So, this is going... Well, first of all, this amazing Frank Hartung embrace, which he's still parked here. He's never getting it back, ever. Um, this is an LP-type guitar, which is, of course, what we want to load into a Palexi. Is going into the Voyager, and that's going into the Double Decker. Everything is powered with a pussy power by Chucks. The Double Decker is actually getting 12 volts. It can be 9 or 12, so no worries, he can power it with 9. I don't know what the benefit is with 12. Maybe more headroom, who knows. It's got a tube inside, which is green. That's all I can tell you. Some tube. It's a 12AX7B ECC. It's a standard 12AX7. Um, so, we got these in the effects loop. Look on the camera. That's what camera 7 or 6 is for. Um, we have 6. So camera 6 is for this. This is in the effects loop. This is in front of it. The output is going into the Joyo Beale Street 12 watt 6v6 loaded amp because, well, I don't have a Gurus here. Hmm. Maybe we should change that. So, um, and that's going into the Torpedo Studio, which by itself sounds like so. Okay. Um, that's my clean sound, relatively round. I also have a cable right here. Right there, cable. And that cable is going straight into the FX return. Bye, doggies. FX return of the Laboga Alligator 50 right there. Um, so that we can test this as a preamp. That Laboga Alligator 50 is going under the table into a two notes torpedo live. So yes, I can actually torpedo two amps at the same time now because this is fucking heaven here. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, we're gonna look at this. We have bypass, which is good, because if you hate it, just, you know, don't turn it on. Buy it, but don't turn it on. That's what bypass is for. It's the, I hate the pedal switch. No. Um, we have floor one, which is the right side. We have floor two, which is the left side. And we have a solo button for making it really loud. So we have a solo volume here, which is way cool. Um, which, if you're putting it in the effects loop of an amp, it actually will act as a level and not as pushing your amp harder. If you have it in front of an amp, this might actually push your amp harder. So it's a very simple control. Volume gain, three band EQ, volume gain, three band EQ. The two sides are voiced slightly differently and we're gonna pretty much, let's just do that. Let's go 
sim setting here. I have it set up with a little bit more middle and treble for some more bite because my sound is relatively round. So let's switch back and forth between floor one and floor two and just see the difference in voicing. We're gonna go in the back, we wanna rock, right? So here we go. Floor one has less gain and is less bully, less less thick in the low end. In general, the way I see plexi sounds, and we can argue about this all day long, they are bitey and they're full in the bottom, but they're missing the warmness in the mids, which is what makes them screamy, which is what makes them the rock sound. It's not a round midsy sound. It's a scratchy and full bottomy sound which is also where uh, why uh, part of this is where Marshall back in the days or nowadays has the mid control it's not a 800 900 hertz warm mids it's a scratchy kind of 2k mids where you add bite to your sound which is nice but you can't dial in the creaminess which is why we have a Voyager which is a 2b screamy kind of a sound and that will bring in the mids at least, that's how I see it. So let's see where the mids are. That's ah, slightly... Leslie came home, so the dogs are freaking out. Um, it's voiced slightly... It, it's a little bit rounder than I expected. section doesn't go overboard it's subtle to dial in what you want so let's see how far floor one can get us I'm gonna go and push it with the Voyager.
right back. So we're gonna move on to floor number two. You can see that it's you can see that it's rather subtle when you add some gain here. some Voyager goodness. That's one hell of a dreamy lead sound right there, with the Voyager pushing it. Without it, it's missing the tiniest bit of cream and the tiniest bit of gain, but let's check it out. <laughs> It's just a little bit harder, it's just a little bit more rock and roll, which is, that's exactly why you get this box, which is fiery red. And have I mentioned that in the dark, which obviously I can't show you right now, um, uh, it really glows. So on your stage it will glow. Why, let me see if I can maybe show you. Yeah, so uh, it kind of glows. So much for that. Brings us to uh, the effects loop. Pretty simple. So right now it's uh, serial, but I can make it parallel. I don't have a mix knob, so I don't know if it's 50-50. I don't know how that works, but you can create a serial, uh, a parallel effects loop. Let me show you. So now we're moving it to a different amp. We're going into the power amp of the Laboga Alligator 50, therefore treating this purely as a preamp. Let me... Okay, and here we go. Looks like the preamp's adding quite a bit of high end. That's going straight into the EL84s, into the power amp. That's what it sounds like. Same speaker actually that we had before. I, I have both torpedoes set to the same setting. Let's 
let's kick in solo. <laughs> So that leaves us with two minutes to show you the compensated out. Let's turn this stuff off again. So here's the compensated out. No shit, that's how good it is. That pretty much kicks the backspan guitar's ass. We just had the orange backspan guitar, remember? That's, uh, that's kicking its ass. You can go DI if you want to use a different speaker simulation. But then it sounds like that! That is really good. Something's not working there. It seems to not like the bee. What do you want to hear? Uh, this clocks in at slightly over 350 bucks. It's not extremely heavy. It's big. It has a lot of controls on it. It's shiny. The whole top is plexiglass. Uh, as you could see, it's backlit, which is nice for a rather dark stage. This doesn't really glow. I mean, it's it's not jumping out. Um, in the light, in the light, right conditions. In the right light conditions, it is nice though. It's a, it's a neat add-on. Um, you have two channels, you have a solo volume, you have an FX loop to actually put the effects right in there, and they were smart enough to do it serial and parallel to keep your original signal intact. Uh, you can not just have the uh, frequency compensated out, but actually have it DI out if you want to use something like the Torpedo Cab, which would be a great um, box to use with it, two notes Torpedo Cab, but the enabled out itself, holy crap, Usually those are gimmicks, those are like a nice add-on. This is a fully usable add-on. Um, mine didn't come with feet because I actually got it in a plastic bag at the Musik Messe from uh, Chico Bellini. He was like, here, take this. So um, I didn't actually get the box. I can't tell you anything about the packaging. Um, the foot switches, they do switch things. So there you go. Um, yes, it's a boutique pedal in terms of price. 
whatever boutique means. But this is made in, I was going to say China, that is completely the opposite. No, it's made in Italy by Italians, probably sipping cappuccino. I don't know, and going a ciao. I have no idea what they say. Um, it is unique in its appearance, and it covers... The rockin' in-your-face plexi sounds beautifully, but a lot of those plexi pedals don't do low gain well because they're always like, bah, like the modded plexi. Um, so it went bing. But um, this isn't because the floor one can actually be the tiniest bit of breakup and it handles, as you could see, the Voyager beautifully. So it handles overdrives nicely. So you can treat this as an amp in the, in, in the sense of that you can push it with your favorite drive. Um... If you're willing to spend the money and you have the space on your pedal board, recommended from the words OK is guitar player. Um, I'm out. Please subscribe. 70% of people watching my channel have not subscribed. Who are you and why do you do that to me? Please subscribe because yes, clicks matter. But when I approach companies and say, hey, people want to see this and can I show you new products? I have to say, how many subscribers do I have? So this stuff matters. If you want to see the new shit, I need the power to get it. For me, the power is you. You giving me the power. Everyone watching, everyone subscribing is helping me to get cooler and newer shit to you guys. So, thanks Chico. Awesome pedal. I see you people on the flippity flop.